Okay, so I have all these patio eggplants and we are going to make eggplant curry. We meaning, well, kind of we because I'm the sous chef, so I did chopping, but really my husband. Okay, so I counted these. I don't remember how many there were. I don't know, let's say 16 to 18. You know, they're little just babies, two to three inch at the most. What do we have? Maybe I'll put the recipe in the, um, you know, in the bottom. We got curry leaves, a ton of them. I would guess that's, I don't know, three quarters cup. We got about a half of a big fat onion. This is, oh my gosh, this is at least four and a half cups of coconut milk. In here we have about six cloves of garlic and like um, a little piece of ginger. Your thumb knuckle up, yeah? What do we got for spices? Cayenne, um, pre-made curry powder, which has all the usuals. Salt, haldi, turmeric, uh, this is methi, right? Methi, okay, fenugreek and mustard seed. And uh, we'll get started here once he chops these up. Okay, there he is. Say hi. Hi. Okay, so first we're going to chop up. And um, you can give me this and I can... I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, kind of. We'll make a paste out of the ginger and the garlic. Okay, you're wedging them, huh? Wedging the eggplant? Yep. Okay, so I'll show you. We have our clay pot ready to go um, with about, he said he put like three tablespoons of coconut oil, um, you know, already liquefied coconut oil in there. But I'm not sure, well, it might fit. Okay, so what we've done is we mixed the turmeric, about four tablespoons into the, um, mixed it well into the eggplant, um, maybe two teaspoons of salt, and now uh, putting it in the clay pot that has coconut oil in it. Um, these clay pots, this is a clay pot from India and it's certified like lead free. Um, and it just makes the curries taste so, you wouldn't believe how much better they taste anything cooked in that pot. Um, so this, we'll cook this up for a little while, I don't know, five, 10 minutes, and then we'll be back. Okay, now I'm going to put, uh, going to add curry leaves. Okay. Ooh, looks so yummy already. That's it. Put the onions. See? Okay. Let those cook down. So the onions get kind of caramelized, huh? Translucent. A little bit brown, yeah. yeah. Okay. 
get some green chilies. Yes. Okay, so now the chili. green chilies going in. If you need more spicy, add more. Not just a little bit. And like you said, leave them whole. Unless you want it more spicy, then cut them open, cut them in half or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Now we fry those in. Initially, the eggplant is probably a 10 or an 8 to 12 minute frying up and then everything else, just a few minutes each, right? At the same time, I'm going to add the onion. ginger and garlic paste. Oh, yeah, yeah, ginger garlic. Okay. Now you can see the pieces are not hard. They yes. are more softer. Softer. Now. Vinegar. vinegar that's white vinegar if you want apple cider vinegar that's in the cupboard too what is this made out of i don't know what vinegar is made out of it's vinegar look at the ingredients it's just vinegar right? it's just regular plain vinegar yeah, yeah. a little bit vinegar put a little bit vinegar not a lot blue blue okay so maybe two Tablespoon, one and a half, something, I don't know. Just bloop and bloop. That's all we need to know. Ooh, that's gonna make it so yum. Mmm, smell come. Smell is coming after you add in the vinegar. Huh. Okay, now time to add the Coconut milk. Coconut milk. So when you add, uh, don't spill all over. I then would I say it. just add little by little. Okay. First add a little bit, then mix it well. That's, oh, by the way, that's, um, what did I say, about four and a half cups. That was made from the freshly shredded coconut that we do here. We meaning him, because that shredding thing is like a cheese grater. I always worry I'm gonna like shred my fingers or something with it, so I leave that to him. I'm going to put a little bit, little bit more. more. Okay. Are you going to use the whole thing? Eventually. Okay. Now, tonight, what are you going to eat with it? Torti or rice. What about those um, fideo, whatever you call yeah. it? What do you call those noodles? Noodles. Hi, Chihuahua. They're not called noodles. Get them out of the cupboard. Let me see. It's a really skinny, skinny, skinny little noodle. Uh, but don't show me the brand name. Just open it up. Do, 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 do. Hold on. Hold it. Hold it. See. These are um, whole wheat. Little, little, little. Just little, 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 little. Okay, wait, here we go. 
Okay, I'm back. More coconut milk goes in. No, I put coconut milk thing in. Coconut milk till uh, till till you feel like it. So see like. Okay, so in there, like if you gravy. look, gravy. we're getting a little bit more soup there in the bottom. We're about halfway up the pile of eggplant in liquid to be safe. Maybe, maybe three quarters. Anyway. Add mustard seed. Mustard seed comes last. That's interesting. A little bit. I'm going to put that first, but okay. And methi a little bit. Methi, just so y'all know, is uh, fenugreek. By the way, what do you guys call methi? Um, uluha. Uluha? Yeah. Mustard seeds. Abba. Up. At the same time, mm -hmm. I'm more adding, stuff, uh, curry powder. This is just a pre-made curry powder. Is that a raw or a roasted? Raw. Okay, that's a raw. And cayenne. Is this it's... the first time you put the cayenne in? Yes. And we got this, this is a Lanka cayenne? Yes. Okay, so that stuff is potent. I didn't put that much cayenne because otherwise... I can't eat it. you complaining. <laughs> it's true because I want to taste my food. I don't want to just cry. That was for when I was younger. Now I want to taste it. Mm -mm -mm. You see that boiling in there? Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now what? We wait a little more? We still have more coconut milk to put in, right? Yeah, it's up to you. If you need more gravy, then you can add. If you uh -huh. need more, more are you going to use more gravy or no? Take gravy, then uh, you don't need. Are you going to use more or no? Uh, let's see. Otherwise, I use that in my smoothie tomorrow. Okay. Oh, let's take you on a little tour. Habaneros that I picked. Here we have other chilies. I don't know, some kind of cayenne or something chili. I think they called it super chili. So we have some drying and then these will, either we eat them or they'll dry. And then we'll use them for crushed pepper. Um, these two cucumbers I got from the garden today. Look at that one, it looks like a um, quail. Um, and then over there, let me see if I can turn around. How am I gonna do this? Hold on. Look upstairs. Okay. I got you plugged in because, you know, my phone's going to die. So there we have green beans. Um, I have some that are drying, or they're all going to end up drying, but different stages of drying. Yeah. Oh. Let me unplug you for a sec. And I'll take you over here. And here we have the jackfruit seeds that um, I will probably plant later. I know I've heard somebody said that um, it's better to plant them fresh, but I think they're still viable. So um, it hasn't been that long. Anyway, we'll just for fun, we'll try it. So plug you back in. Is there? Okay. Uh -huh. Now you want to taste uh -huh. and uh, if you need add more salt, this is the time to add. Okay, so, so show us what you got. Mm. 
<clears throat> More salt. Let me come over there. You know, we could probably turn this off now. I didn't think about it. How annoying that must be to listen to this whole time. Ooh. You hear that, witch? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So we wait more? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off for now. We actually had some coconut milk left over. So as I said, we started with about at least four and a half cups. We got at least two, two and a half cups here. So I guess we used about two, two and a half cups for what we had. And it gives it enough juice, but not too much juice. Okay, here's the final product. I wanna stir this so you can see kind of how... Wamba to curry. Wamba to curry. And I literally forget the name in Hindi because you're putting this Wamba to in my head. Um, so that's how juicy it kind of is. See, it's, it's, it's wet, but it's not super soup. Um, it's up to you if you need what more you want, liquidy, you know, yeah. It depends, it depends on your taste. If you want it, some people like their curry more liquid. Some people like it more dry. Okay, so here's the final product. We got the noodles with a doll curry and uh, eggplant curry. And we have some chili paste there. Usually they would eat this with rice, of course, but this is, they eat this too, this noodle, this little skinny noodle, something, something fun, roti. something different. Or you can, of course, eat it with roti or naan if you eat naan. Okay, you're going to take a bite. Let us know how it is. Hold on, let me come back. That eggplant in there. Mm -hmm. Is it spicy enough for you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when he cooks it for me, when I eat it, he he doesn't make it the way he would usually like to eat it. But that's it. That's what we got. Let me feed you. You're gonna feed me? Okay, let me put this maybe up here. Okay. Just a little bit of the noodle. Give me that. Yeah. Chili paste on there? Mm -hmm. oh. I love chili paste. Oh my God, it's so good. It's so good. I don't usually like a lot of eggplant. It's rare, but I like it chunked like that. It's really good. And it's not too hot. I can feel a little bit in the back of my throat, but a little bit's okay. Really good. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Okay, we see you. Say bye. Bye. Bye.